Assalamualaikum. Hello, dear learners. How are you doing? Hope you are safe and sound at home. And all of you are heartily welcome to my online class brought to you by the Nasput Jilai School. Today we are going to learn about preposition, which is one of the very important chapter in your syllabus. So <coughs> let's get started. But before starting this class, I would like to tell you the learning outcomes of this class. After we have started this lesson, we will be able to learn how to use three of the most uh, confusing prepositions at, on and in uh, as applied to place. But before starting the main class, I would like to inform you that you have a test or quiz at the end of this lesson on preposition of place at or in. So watch this video carefully. First of all, know what preposition is. The word preposition is made of two words. Pre, let's see. Pre and position. Pre means, yeah, pre means before and position means placement. A word which is used before a noun or pronoun. So the definition, so the definition is, let's see the definition. The definition is a word that is used before a noun and shows its relation with another words of a sentence is called preposition. Let's understand them with an example. What can you see in the picture? There is a girl. And where is the girl? If you want to know the placement of the girl, the girl is sitting on the table. The girl is sitting on the table. Here, on is a preposition because after all, there is the word table and table is a noun. As it is a noun, so we can say that on is a preposition. And this table has the link with this sitting arrangement of the, of the girl or with the girl there is a relation with the, with the table. But if we write the sentence in this way, the girl is sitting at the table. We are not able to get the relationship between the table and the girl or between the table or the sitting arrangement of the girl. So it is a wrong sentence. Now we have to fulfill two conditions we have to fulfill two conditions for uh, preposition number one. After using preposition, there must be a pronoun, a noun. And number two, and that word shows its relation with other words. For example, let's see the example, he goes to school by cycle. Here, there is a link. After two, there is a school. A school is a noun. So, we can say that there, there is a link between school and he. Again, there is another preposition, it is by and there is a link or relation between cycle and he. But sometimes we are confused. But sometimes we got confused between some words uh, as preposition as well as adverb. So let's see the difference. For example, here is a sentence. He is in the office. And we can see that there is a preposition in. And after in, the word is there that is office. Office is again a noun. So we can say that in is a, in is a preposition. And the word office is a noun. But look at this sentence. He goes in. Shave hetore jai. Is it what parts of his speech is in? Is it a noun or preposition or adverb? In is you can say in is a, a preposition. Do you think in is a preposition? No, in is not a preposition because after in there is no noun. Is there any noun? She should have to reject. Can I go on down my? That is why in is not a noun. Here in is used as an adverb. Now let's go to the 
classification of preposition. Preposition can be classified into different categories, but among them, I would like to classify them into four major categories. And the categories are number one, preposition of place, preposition of time, preposition of direction, and preposition of cause and purpose. Dear learners, preposition is a large chapter, so vast. Uh, so many rules and functions are there. It is not uh, possible to discuss all of them in a day. So I have decided to discuss only about preposition of place, especially on at, on, and in. So let's know what is preposition of place. Preposition of place is uh, is uh, something or we can say preposition of place tells us where something is. Some preposition of place says are above, under, below, over, be, beside, near to, near, uh, in front of, around, between, in, on, at, etc. Now we are going to look at the uses of the preposition of place, especially at, on and in, when we are talking about preposition of place. I know many of you have difficulty with these words. Uh, well, keep watching because I have a solution for that and uh, I think it will help you and that is by using a triangle or a pyramid. Let's see how it works. Look at the pyramid or you can say there is a triangle here I have uh, I have pointed where we can use which preposition and like the triangle first of all at like the triangle at is used in a very specific place a point the area is very narrow specific for example, she is at the door, she is at the table, she is at the window. That means the point or the place is specific. She is at the door, she is at the table, and the area or the place is very specific. And then we have on, and like the triangle, on is a little bit broader. For example, she is on the floor. Floor is a little bit broader. Eight to borrow. Or that ghore pothai meche thi konja ge dariyache. It is not specified. Amra bushte parchi na pothai dariyache. Kintu meche je kono ekta jagay dariya thakte pare, modde thakte pare, konai thakte pare, tableer kase thakte pare, dorjar kase thakte pare. Eight to jagay ta borrow. E jono amra ekhane eight to borrow jagar khetche. Amra use korbo on. And then in, in is the widest. As you can see, she is in the house. A person can be anywhere in the house. A house is a, is a large place or an enclosed place with a border or, or walls, etc. But we can't say where a person is now. At the bathroom, at the bedroom, at the corner, at the floor, at the baranda. I'm a specific place to put high booster parchina. The borrow building it, Jacono Jagaiko Thakapare. That is why we are using here in. Now I think you have got a clear conception where we can use at, in, or on. So we are going to look at first when to use on with some example. Uses of, sorry, at. Uses of at specific point or place and the first situation is when he, when we talk about a specific place or point we use on for example here we have a picture for example here we have a picture of stairs look at the stairs if any person is standing at the top of the stairs we can say at the top of the stairs. If the location is here, we can say at the bottom of the stairs. Similarly, we have another picture for you. We can say in this way, where is the girl? The girl is 
out the window because here we are talking about a girl where he, he, she is standing or sitting. The specific point or specific location is here. So in the same way we can use some similar kind of prepositions like at the door, at the street, at the bookshop, at the airport. Number two, exact address. We also use at on exact address. When we are discussing about exact address, we should know what do you mean by exact address. address at exact address is when we know the name or number of the street. For example, he lives at 55 Oxford Street. If we know the number, if we know the number 55 and the name of the street Oxford Street, then we use at. But if we write down in this way he lives at Oxford Street then it would be a wrong sentence. Why? Because there is no number. That means the address is not exact. We can't find out the location. So we have to use in this way, if we want to use on, he lives on Oxford Street. It is a little bit broader. And uh, another use of at is events. For example, there is a picture of a conference where is the man? Look at the man. Where is the man? The man is at a conference. Similarly, you can say we are at the party, they are at a concert, I is at a meeting, etc. All these are events because when we talk about a concert or party or meeting, that means they all are events. Okay, events means activity and uh, next, when we also use at when we talk about a building where an event or activity takes place. It is about the building. For example, look at the picture. Here, some people are there. Look at the girl. Maybe she is Anu. Where is Anu? We can say Anu is at the library. That means she is at the library for some activity or for some work. That is why she is at this building, otherwise she will not go there. In the similar way, we can say, e, are you at the cinema? I saw her at town hall. The inspector is at the police station. Okay? These are buildings in which events or activities takes place. So, we use preposition at. Next, and we also use at when somebody is somebody's house. For example, he is at Amit's house. He lives at her parents' house. And uh, we also use at for a stop on a journey or like a break on a journey. For example, we stopped at a nice village. The train to Dhaka stops at Gajipur. That means the train was bound to Dhaka, but it suddenly or by any cause it stops at Dhaka. Gajipur, sorry. So this is the first time we, when we are talking about towns or cities, but we are using at, we are not using in. Okay, because we are talking about the stop. And finally, for the word at, we have some standard expressions. And actually there is no room, for example, there is a picture of a mosque, so many people are there. If we want to know about this man, where is the man? We can say uh, he is at mosque, he is at school, he is at home, he is at university, he is at work. Actually there is no rule, we have to just follow them. These are standard expressions. And if you notice all of these expressions that before this noun, most school, home, university, word, we didn't use the word the. Okay, these are the standard expression. Next.
Okay, next go for the uses of on. Well, the main use of on is when something is on a surface. Look at the pictures. Here is a photograph for you and there is the wall and on the wall so many photographs are there but if we want to say about one picture where is the picture if we ask you the picture is or the photograph is on the wall similarly you can say there is a ball on the floor that is a picture on the page draw a flower on the blackboard okay And you can see that they and you can see that they all are surfaces wall floor page page blackboard all are surfaces either horizontal or um, vertical either vertical or horizontal horizontal means kono kichu uchu hoye ache jemon deal ebhabe khara bhabe ache tar gaye jodi kichu lege thake tokhon amra on use korte pari abar kono kichu ebhabe flat hoye ache soja bhabe ache tar prishtodeshe jodi kono kichu lege thake tokhon amra on use korte pari next at task 2 now let's look at number 2 uh, if something is attached to something we use the word on for example here is a photograph look at the photograph here there is a finger and there is a ring the ring is on the finger so we can say she is wearing a ring on her finger because here the finger is attached to the here the ring is attached to the finger and there is another oh sorry there is another example the there are three apples on the tree the apples are attached to the tree that is why in this case we can also say the ring uh, the the tree the apple are attached to the tree or we can say there are three apples on the tree then the re, the coast rivers and roads we also use the word on when we are talking about coasts rivers or roads for example look at the picture or look at the photograph here is uh, dinajpur for example maybe it is dinajpur so we can say dinajpur is on the river punarbhava that means that the city of dinajpur that means the city of dinajpur is next to the river punarbhava but we don't say the city is next to the river punarbhava we see this we say the dinajpur is on the punarbhava and uh, it means next to the river so a town is on a river again we can say sorry sorry again we can say he lives on a station road I live on Park Street. When we are talking about a road or a street, we use the word on as preposition because here the exact location or address is not present. If there, there, there is the exact location or the number, then you can use at. But as there is no exact location or number, we will use only on. Okay, next go to the next number directions and small islands before telling directions before telling directions are about small islands again we can use on for example first turn right first turn right next go to the left these are the directions or we can say the man is on the island for island we can use or we use on next standard expressions again we have some standard expressions on on look at the picture what are the look at the picture what are they doing they are watching tv on they are watching match on tv so we can say there is a match on the TV, the sailor is on the ship, the cattle are on the farm, she is on the ground, we hear the weather forecast on the radio. 
Look, TV, she, farm, floor, and the radio. We use all of these with on. Next go for the uses of in. For the first use is an enclosed place, a large space, uh, an enclosed place, a large space with boundaries. We use in for enclosed place. For example, look at the picture. What can you see? These are the picture or photograph of a person in a desert. Mean more who be there the so, more room is enclosed, thake, boundary, thake, no, thake na, but we can understand the location or the border or the area. So, if we understand or if we guess the border or the area, then we can use in. So, we can say Bear Grylls was lost in the desert. Bear Grylls desert is Or we can say the pan is in the back. Bag, bag it is border thake, na kitho it enclosed thake, chat dikhe abodh thake. So we can use the pen is in the bag, in the pocket. The baby is in the garden. The she is in the bedroom. The tigers can be seen in the forest. Forester ki <coughs> fence thake, bara thake, thake na. But we can use it because we can understand the area, the border. Kotho tu ko area baby, kotho tu ko ayaton baby at the forest achhe. So in these cases, we can use in. And next go to number two, towns and cities. We can also use in for towns and cities, and it is very common and very important for you. For example, look at the picture. Here is Hatirjil. Hatirjil is in Dhaka. So we can say. They are in Dhaka to visit Hatiji. Or you can say, I live in Birol, um, a place where I live. It is a Thana of Dinajpur. Or we can say, Anis is in the village. Village is a borrow jayega, jarekta area ba ayatana Next, indicating line or row. We also use in for indicating line, row, or queue. Look at the picture. Here the, the boys and the girls are in a line. So you can say they are in a line, the students are in a queue. And again we have some standard expressions for uh, in. Actually we don't have any rule for in. We have to just remember it or just learn it. We have no choice for it. So, look at the picture. Where is the girl? She is in bed. She is in bed. The criminals are in prison. We saw that girl in a photograph. I read the article in the newspaper. The old man is in an armchair. Sit on a chair or a stool. But when we are talking about an armchair, we use in. It is the expression, it is the rule of the natives. We can't do anything. But for if we talk about a chair, only a chair or a stool, we can use on. But for e for on chair, J chair and hatula chair, chair in it is the standard expression. Okay. Next and I have written uh, so many prepositional phrases for you. You just have a look. I'm just uh, reading out for you so that you can understand it properly. I have so many uses of at. At the corner, at the bus, at the door, at the top of the page, at the end of the border, at the front, at the side, at the reception, at someone's house, at the doctor's. In a house, in a box, in a pocket, in a book, in the book, in Times Square, in France, in the sky, in a hotel, in a lift or elevator, in a row. Or we can say on, on the ground, on the ceiling, on the carpet, on the page, on a rickshaw, on a map, on an elephant, on the desk, on the chair, on a list. 
I have so many lists. Again, at the hairdressers, at school, at the crystal building, at his office, at Idul Fitur, at the moment, at the top of the building, at the gate, at the back. In the town or city, in a race, in this way, in a market, in the final stage, in the market, in the jar, in the zoo, in the journal, on the road, on a motorbike, on the avenue, on the roof, on the screen, on a bicycle, on the radio, on a farm, on the stool. In this way, you can make so many prepositional phrases and uh, after that, let's see how much you have understood and i want to take a quiz or take a test for you and i want to understand how much you have uh, learned today and the quizzes are here and for that i'm giving you five minutes just click your post button and try to solve these questions and try to fill in the blanks and for that just click the post button click the video and uh, and complete it i'm giving you two minutes have you done okay i think you have done it uh, let's check your answers with me first of all my mother is dash the kitchen what should be the answer my mother is in the kitchen the man is dash the island the man is on the island the fisherman is fishing dash the river. The fisherman is fishing in the river. The guest was dash the internet. So the spell, sorry for the spelling, at the entrance. The guest is dash the entrance. It should be at the entrance. I saw him dash the crossroads. I saw him at the crossroads. He must move his on the internet i saw the items on the menu water lily grows in the water shams sits at the back of the class i live i live at the uh, on the sixth floor at 21st college road in dinajpur so if i i have written the answers here you can match it again have you matched? In this lesson, we have learned preposition of place, at, on, and in. But we have other prepositions like uh, beside, before, after, uh, between, in front of, behind. So many prepositional places are there, but uh, it is not possible to discuss all of them. So I have decided to take another class for this. Hope you will join. And that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching my video and good luck with your English.